Hi guys, this is KidLink77 and welcome back. Let's play Dragon Warrior 7. It's been a week. Yeah, I've been sick and stuff, so um, anyway, yeah, we're back. So in the last episode, we checked out the town of Lumen and uh, we found out that they were being, you know, um, attacked by like the Draco Lord or Draco Lord is, um, uh, you know, just not being very nice. And it's covered the entire place in darkness and we're gonna see if we can do anything about that. We've taken out the monsters that were uh, invading the town, so why don't we check out the tower and see if we can maybe help the town of Lumen. So let's go on in here, and you are immediately, after you come in here, uh, met by this guy. Kiki, do you know how reckless and stupid you are? You have no chance to get through here. All right, so we killed the pink orc. Yeah, I just decided to do that off screen. And I just remembered that I actually forgot to heal between episodes, so uh, I'll uh, be right back, guys. All right, we're back, guys. Yeah, Gabo was looking a little low on the MP, so I figured we'd go ahead and heal up. Now, this is the Draco Tower, pretty much. It's a fun place. Um, I practiced this, you know, a week back, and I have a vague remembrance of what I should be doing. Uh, I really hope I don't forget, but anyway, uh, why don't we go ahead and make our way out this door over here, and we will come out over here. So if you come on over here, you can step on that switch right there. Now I'm gonna, like, reset the encounter rate by stepping down here, uh, and there's also a treasure chest down over here, too. And in here, yeah, alright, we get a tiny metal for that, awesome. So, um... Oh yeah, did everyone, I hope everyone enjoyed their New Year's, um, I'm like filming this, I think the 4th, um, of, uh, January, and yeah, it's been an interesting year so far, I guess. No resolutions or anything, but hey, it's whatever. I don't really do that stuff anymore, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. I start school again, um, uh, in, uh, what's it called, um, in a, in Mon, sorry, Monday, so, uh, that's kind of cool. Alright, so anyway, let's step on that switch over here. And I have a feeling that I'm missing something. Actually, no, here. I know what I need to do. I need to go out here first, and then come out over here, and we want to make our way back this way. And over here is another treasure chest, and we get some moolah. All right. There's a pretty cool weapon in here that we're going to be getting eventually. Um, now, you could do this after you've, um, like, accomplished what you need to here, like get treasure and stuff, but we're just going to go ahead and do it all now. Uh, now, if I remember, I believe I want to go this way. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Now, over here, uh, let's see, or, yeah, okay, yeah, over here, we need to go this way. Uh, whoops. Uh, we want to go up here and make our way over here and then come over here. Yeah, I sound like, if I sound still so kind of out of it, it's because I totally am. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, see, there it is. Still getting over the cough. I hate getting sick. And I got sick the day like after or I got sick on Christmas it was terrible uh, so let's make our way over here and we can get in here let's see yeah all right we get the tempest blade I just call it tempest blade because this seems like a stormy kind of item because I think it casts storm stuff so let's see we're gonna go ahead and give this to um, uh, let's give this Aris it's better than the bounce sword that he has and um, yeah and uh, what's his face can't equip the bounce sword or he already, he already has the Platinum Sword. Geez, man, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, so yeah, that's there. Awesome. Again, if I sound off, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, I just, I sound terrible. But I really want to do this, and I have a chance to do so now. So Now, you don't have to get this treasure chest that's up here until a little later, but I figure we better go ahead and do it now. So let's uh, cross over here, and over here is a chest. And then said chest, we get, yeah, all right. Not really worth it. We get a potion. That's okay. So let's make our way down over here again. And let's do that. And let's make our way in here. Now, this is a little bit of a puzzle. You need to hit the switches that you see in here. And this switch will open a door somewhere. Um, I believe we need to go uh, back downstairs now. And then we need to make our way over to... Uh, let's see. Where is it? There should be another um, staircase. Um, and there might be actually a new monster here. Let's see. All right, yeah, cool. So we get some new monsters. We have a uh, baby dragon. I think we've already seen those. Um, we have Armorgan, and we have a baby devil. Uh, the baby devils are actually somewhat dangerous. I don't know why they, like, reskinned the baby gargles that we saw and just made them, like, ten times as strong, but that's whatever. So just, you know, use vacuum if you have it. Wind Beast will take that guy out. And there we go. So we're pretty much done here, yeah. Having vacuum makes this place so much easier, and 
having one beast for everyone is definitely going to help. So keep that in mind. Um, now let's see. We want to go up here next. Um, and there should be, if I remember right. Yeah, okay, cool. We need to hit that button there next. That opens that door that was down over here. Open this one over here, and that will open that one over there. Um... Ooh, we have actually a new enemy here, so let's go ahead and show it off. We have the Lizard Bird. Alright, um, these guys are, if I remember, particularly fast, so we need to be careful. I'm getting rid of Norton again. I haven't talked about that in a while. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. Um, vacuum, vacuum, and vacuum. And, uh, we should get it going. I don't know why they call it vacuum. It doesn't sound anywhere near dangerous, but then again, I mean, look what it does. I mean, hey, there you go. Oh, I can hear it in my voice. It sounds terrible, but that's all right. We'll, we'll get through this together. All right, so let's see. We'll open that one just, you know, for the shits and giggles. And let's move back over here. Then a dramatic pause. We have another new enemy. We have a Rhino King. Um, I don't know what these have to be. We're just going to go ahead and try wind. I um, mean, vacuum still does a pretty good amount of damage. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, well, hey. Not much uh, in the MP. I think they're pretty hard hitting, though. So, yeah, definitely try to get them out if you can. Having multi-targeting stuff so nice. Oh, I love it. All right. Now, let's make our way up here. And uh, being healed isn't a terrible idea. Um, and this, I guess, is a Draco Lord. If you talk to town people after you beat, like, Baranga, uh, he roars and screams and everyone just flips out. What's happened? Why is it going berserk? He's been out of control ever since Baranga was killed. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. I think good. Well, this is awful. If it goes on a rampage, the whole continent will be blown away. Scree! This isn't funny. We're in danger, too. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and heal up here because uh, people aren't looking all that great. Uh, let's see, so just max out. Well, people are doing actually okay. I like where my levels are at right now. I don't think we're gonna be doing any more grinding. I think grinding is pretty much done for the rest of the game, but, uh, we'll, we'll see. We will see. So, let's talk to these guys, and make sure you definitely heal before you do this. You, you've made it this far. What bad timing. We can try to get on the good side of the Dark Draco later. We'll have to deal with these guys first. Scree. Yeah, I did that off screen. It's like, yeah, nothing, you know, too fancy. Just do these guys. Suppose your fellow travelers, too. Dark Draco, we won't try to stop you. Rampage to your heart's content. Go on, blow away the entire continent. All right, now, I remember I once played through this game, and their sprites looked so weird there. I didn't know what it was doing, but... Yeah, now we get to take on this guy. This is the Dark Draco. And I remember coming here without Melvin, and this guy kicked my ass. I had to go back, like, after reading what I had done wrong. I went back and found out, oh, we can get a new party member. And it made things a lot easier. This guy can cast, I think it's uh, Fire Breath, um, Freezing Breath, too. He has a Wind Elemental spell. It doesn't really do much damage, and he can attack and hit really hard. Look at that. That's terrible damage. Oh, man. So we're going to go ahead and get um, Melvin on a Wind Beast. Uh, Gabo on a Wind Beast, Ars on a Wind Beast, keep your HP up, we're gonna have Gabo, or we're gonna heal up Gabo, uh, even, yeah, here's Wind Beast, uh, you know, again, not too much of a problem for us, it still did 70 damage, but it's single target, so we can, you know, be on the offensive and on the defense, ooh, don't do that, guys, uh, let's see, oh, wow, Vacuum is great, actually, I want Gabo to use Multi-Cut, see what that does, I'm kinda curious, and then we're going to bless Aris. And uh, let's see what it does to the dragon. I'm not too worried about healing for him, but let's see what we can do. And yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, and 70 damage. Eh, not great. All right, so we're going to have uh, Gabo. I guess we're going to have Gabo go ahead and do another one of those just to try to level the playing field a little faster than normal. And Mary Bell, you're going to heal yourself. Hopefully he doesn't do a multi-target shot, which would be not all that great. All right, so another one of these, and he should be almost again dead. Having one beast, oh, so nice. Uh, and again, keep your HP up. All right, so you're gonna hit him. All right, that's not too bad. So go ahead and do wind beast. Uh, you need to do wind beast because you're out of MP. And Maribel, you're gonna go ahead and heal up Melvin, and then we should be good to go. He hasn't really hit us with anything super bad now, so we're almost kind of in the clear. But you know, again, we need to be really careful. 
And yeah, right, so. Single targeting, I'm making this look a little easier than it has been in the past for me. <laughs> there have been times where, you know, he's he is fast too, so you need to be careful. Alright, yeah, sometimes you can't get that healing on time. But everyone has enough HP, I think, to last at least, you know, one or two blows. And there we go! Awesome! Alright, so. Ooh, nice. And I think we got, yeah, someone got to level up here. So, let's see. Ours level 29. Alright. HP powers by 8. HP over 3. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I like that. Those are some good things. And not bad on the gold either. Alright. Melvin and Companion kill the Dark Draco. The seal was broken and the door of darkness vanished up as well. The entire area began to brighten. Alright. Well, that's good. Awesome. Oh, and, uh, yeah, now, um, the floor has, you know, like, disappeared. The evil part of the floor, I guess. So, uh, yeah, you can go back and collect any treasure that you missed, um, without being hurt by the floor, so. But we got all the treasure, I think, that we needed to, so. Let's, uh, make our way back to town and see how everyone's doing. Um, we need to, uh, let's see, uh, I guess we'll just go back and see. I guess I'll show off a new enemy here. I don't know if I've shown these off, but we have healer slimes, and these guys are fun to deal with because they can heal you everyone it's not fun but we have vacuum so we should be good to go here again I forget if I've shown these off it's been a long time so uh, but vacuum and dead there you go they're done hmm <laughs> all right so let's make our way back over to um a lumen and let's see how everyone's uh, doing here um yeah we got happy music now that's good that's real good real good so uh why don't we go up to the uh, mayor's house quickly and, uh, let's see. Hi, you. Boom! Oh, okay. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go up to, uh, the mayor's residence and I'll talk to you, uh, said the person. So good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> I was able to return to my home. Is that bomberang still here? Seems to made a house on my first floor. Is, mm, oh, okay. Well, nothing for him to say. Now, we need to go down, well, we don't need to go down the well again, but, um, there is something that you should make note of. Uh, if you come on down here, um, you will not find the priest. You will find something a little different. You'll find this guy in here. All right, now you've done it with Boronga. Finally, that I was certain that this town would be mine to rule over. Not playing on to defeat a dark Draco. Kind of an end to your unpredictable meddling once and for all. All right, so we have this guy to deal with too. Excuse <coughs> me. Evil clown. These guys are actually pretty tough too. They can take a good amount of beating. So. Uh, be careful with this guy. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and bless R just in case. He has Blaze more. This is gonna hurt pretty bad. Yow! Look at that. All right. Well, he only hit uh, just the one, so I'm not too too worried about that. And uh, will that do it? Nope. And again, he's got a lot of HP, so definitely keep your HP up. Don't go in here unprepared. And then you should be fine. So another Blaze more hit, Melvin. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, didn't really make much difference to him. Uh, so, uh, yeah, now, and he should be dead right about... No, not yet? Okay. All right, all-out defensive. Let's go kill him all. Uh, vacuum. Whoops. Oh, well. All right, 15. Yeah, whatever. And that... Yeah, there we go. That'll do it. Okay. So he's down there. Uh, make note of that. I don't think it really affects anything, but, I mean, you know, just take all the garbage. <laughs> there you go. Taking out one pair of garbage, so, I mean, hey. All right, so let's, uh, make our way up here. Now, if you go to, um... Uh, the armor, or, you know, the shop that was the armor shop, uh, they'll have some stuff that you can buy now. I don't think the weapon shop sells anything, or the guy who should supposedly sell weapons, uh, sells anything right now. Uh, let me go talk to him quickly and see. Alright, yippee, you really did it? Yep. Alright, great thanks for me, but I never thought it would be possible for you to free the people of darkness. You are the only bound to this world by your fleshly constraints? What? Alright, whatever, you're weird. Um, I guess he didn't sell any weapons, but the armor shop does, so let's go in there and we'll, um, you know, look around and let's see if there's anything worth uh, purchasing. Um, uh, this is not the weapon shop. Whoops! Uh, it's been a while since I've been over here. Alright, let's go up this way. Come on. Let's go upstairs. And, uh, let's see. We need to go. It's this one over here. Or, wait, what? No? Uh, where was the, the, the armor shop? Uh, maybe, maybe it was that one. Wait. Alright, now I'm, like, confused. I'm, like, out of it still right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is it this house up here? I don't think it's this house up here. Let's see. Where's the... Where? Yeah, Alright, you know, I think I'm gonna say just forget about it and, you know, just move on with our lives. But I really want to find the said armor shop. Um, 
All right, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> Forget about it. Oh, that is annoying. But anyway, uh, we freed this town. So why don't we go ahead and... Um, uh, uh, why don't we go ahead and, you know, see if there's anything different has changed elsewhere. Um, I can't believe I don't know where the armor shop is. I mean, it should be. There's nothing super special, but, I mean, it's there now. So let's come up here. If you remember, uh, there was like a... Uh, we got a piece up here, you know, a... Uh, Hello. Huh. Hmm. Alright, well, that used to be like a giant mound of dirt. And, uh, like a dead plant. And now there's nothing there. Okay. I'm sure everything's fine. So why don't we go ahead and make our way to, um, back to the past. We, um, uh, we help the townspeople. I mean, hey, uh, what could, you know, nah, there's... I don't think anything's, you know, gonna go wrong. I mean, hey. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, so let's see. Why don't we, uh, let's see. Where would we need to go? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and warp out of here. And then we'll make our way to, um, the new place. There's a new place. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Of course. Uh, let's see. Where do we need to be, though? I forget where it is now. It's not good. Um, I think we need to go to, um... Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll warp to Probina, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll uh, we'll check out the uh, the said uh, map, the, 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 the what's it called, um, the uh, the world map, and uh, see, let's see, so where's the world map? Um, right here. Okay. So with that, I think we need to go. Uh, let's see. Wow, everything is coming together so nicely now. Um, I have a feeling we need to go to Dharma. If I remember, I'm not sure though. It's a little, it's a little island, so I mean, oh, I see where we need to go. Okay, so we're gonna go up to Dune, and then we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna take the magic carpet, and uh, we're gonna fly uh, north. So uh, let's go ahead and head on up to Dune. And um, again, <laughs> it's been a little bit of time since I've done this, but uh, let's make our way up to Dune, and then we're gonna fly over there with the magic carpet, and then we'll see. What do we need to do next? So, let's see. The carpet. Uh, where is said carpet? Hello? There it is. Alright, let's go ahead and use the magic carpet here. And let's make our way up north up here. And, um, see how, you know, um, Lumen is doing in the, uh, the future. We saved them from Dark Draco, so, I mean, that's good. Um, so I think they should be. Uh, is this it over here? No, I think that's. Yeah, this is part of uh, part of Dune, so let's uh, make our way up this way. And here it is. Okay. I I think, right? Am I right? Um, I need to probably break out the world map again. Yes, let's see. Make sure I'm not missing anything. So let's see. Can I can I bring out the world map here? Please tell me I can. That'd be kind of nice. No. Sink to the bottom of the ocean. There goes the dead hero. Can we uh, use it here? Yes. Okay, cool. You can't... What? Okay, we need to go over there. Oh, uh, it's weird. You can't, uh, you can't do it anywhere else, but you can do it on the world map or on the magic carpet, which is kind of strange, but whatever. All right, here it is up here, I believe. Uh, so can we sit down? Let's sit down, and here we go. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this is where we found, um, uh, this is where we found, uh, the land shark. And, uh, let's see, it's gone up here, and that hole's still here. Huh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and make our way, you know, to Lumen and see how they're doing. Uh, why don't we go ahead... Ooh, hey! Well, the tower is available here. We're not gonna do that until a little bit later. Uh, why don't we check out this thing first, though? We don't... I don't remember there being a house, you know, here earlier, so I guess this just got recently built. Now, this leads to a giant side quest that I will not be really covering. Uh, before we, uh, talk to these gentlemen over here... And here, we get a slime armor, which is cool. I don't think anyone can really use it. I mean, people can, but it's not all that great. Melvin can't use a Gabo can, but worse defense. RS can, worse defense, so yeah, it's not all that great right now. Uh, anything here? Nope, okay. So let's uh, talk to this guy over here, let's see. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, okay. What about the book, sir? What are you doing? All right, so nothing. And, uh, let's see, anything here? Nothing. And in here, we have, uh, nothing. And then in here, we have nothing. Oh. A sad day for us all. Let us dispense with the pleasantries. You are a bound, or a bound, a band of traveling fighters, aren't you? Mm, kinda. So you've been fighting with monsters? Yeah. Excellent. I've finally found the people I've been waiting for. 
This isn't give these people what I was talking about earlier. Okay. Yes, sir. Alrighty. So what do we get? We get a bag of food. Okay. Cool. That's great, I guess. <coughs> that beef that's that beef jerky lets you tame almost any monster you run into. Oh. It's powerful stuff. Just one whiff of it turns them into little puppy dogs. Of course it works best if you use it after the battle is over. Developed it after years of research, so try using it as much as you can. This is all yours. What? Do I want anything from you? Of course not. Well, now that you mention it, I only ask that you lend a little help so that I may fulfill my dream. My dream is to build a monster park right here. If you tame any monsters after a battle, could you send them here? Please let me make my dream come true. Okay. Well, this is a giant side quest, pretty much. Uh, you throw beef jerky at monsters, and they will, you know, you'll kind of recruit them. You don't use them in battle or anything like that, so... Uh, and he has, like, different sections built up for different monsters, so it's kind of neat. Uh, and there's a, there's a lot here. I don't think you get any items for doing this, so, again, I don't think it's really worth doing it right now. I think it's more like a side quest kind of deal. I mean, I haven't really done all of it, but I'll look into it a little more, but... Um, anyway, why don't we, uh, well, you know, we'll think about that later. Let's make our way down this way, and let's check out Lumen and see how they're doing. So, um, let's, uh, let's see. Something's wrong, Aris. We got sad music. Oh my gosh. An alone priest? Name is Luter. I am traveling around the world of spreading the word of God. No place that is yet to heal the word of God. Please tell me. All right. Well, this is a random encounter, so you're not going to always find him here. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's weird. He's... Uh, not doing so great. <laughs> and Lumen, I guess. Wow. We killed the Dark Draco, but... What could have happened after we left? Huh. If you remember... Ooh, that, that doesn't look good. If you remember... A tiny metal. Remember a tiny metal? If you remember... The Dark Draco made something die when he covered the land in darkness. Lumen has not been a very lucky town. We'll just say that right now. Um, when the they were being they were being hit by something called the Hell. Ooh, oh, okay. Um, they were being hit by something called the Hellvine before they were hit by Dark Draco. And then after Dark Draco came, the Hellvine died. And now that the Dark Draco is gone, though, I wonder what could have happened. Look, Aris, the town is totally devastated. Who could have done such a horrible thing? I'm not going to let him get away with it. Okay. I don't believe it. What is happening? After defeating Dark Draco, how could this happen? It appears something must have happened in the past after we ate at the town. It would be wise for us to investigate further. Okay. What on earth is going on? I thought we saved this town. Let's go back to the past and see if Lumen needs our help again. Yeah, we're gonna be doing that in the next episode. Um, off screen, I'm gonna I'm gonna save in you know in the ruins, and I guess we're gonna see what could have happened. We thought the Hellvine died, but maybe something else happened. This is not a lucky town. I feel so bad for them. So yeah, next episode we're gonna go back to the past and see what's going on with Lumen. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.